Okay, Joe, uh, this is the horse that we've been working on right here since the last part of August. Tell me what you thought when you got her off the trailer. Well, when I got her off the trailer, we let her in the barn and she's just following me, you know, she wasn't alert or anything like that. Not, not, not any, any extra uh, energy, but we put her in the, put her in the barn and I didn't really pay a lot of attention to through feed to her. Next morning I come out and I thought to myself, what in the world we got herself into here, Chris? I mean, she was thin, head hanging down, no energy, almost wobbling when she walked. Okay, so that's when you called me and we said, boy, I don't know whether we should do anything at all because she may not make it. Yeah. Okay. So she's been on 1336, Essential E, and I think some bio generation. Bio generation. And I think after looking at her, and I've been looking at her feet, and I've been looking at, uh, you know, she may have some teeth problems. I'm thinking we're going to try some uh, Essential Rescue on her also. Add that to the 1336, and we'll we'll just and keep just everybody posted oats, on how it goes. Oats and good hay. Yep, yep. Okay, and good hay is better than anything. Better than it. Better good hay is better be than pasture. Oh, better. Th if somebody said to me, "I got X number of dollars. Should I buy Penwoods or should I buy good hay?" Go buy good hay. Really? Yeah, go buy good hay. Okay, because that is so 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 important to a horse's diet and i looked at your hay and it really looks good so uh okay i think that's pretty good so far i think that's pretty good so far